as in uh, this demonstration, you will see how to post a non-integrated asset acquisition in SAP S4 HANA. For this purpose, we need to have two roles assigned uh, to the user who will perform the activity. One will be the asset accountant and the other one will be GL accountant. <coughs> Both roles are already assigned to the user and we can go on. Uh, Non-integrated asset is basically against which the invoice has not yet been received uh, from the vendor or supplier. Uh, for this pur purpose, we need to post an asset acquisition uh, directly. We just uh, need to sign in first. Actually, there is an, uh, we need to look at the asset acquisition group. In the asset acquisition group, we need to then select the post acquisition uh, non-integrated with automatic offsetting entry F. Okay, post acquisition. Post select. Asset acquisition group and then post acquisition non integrated. Okay, so first of all, we need to enter as always company code 10101. Okay, after this, so here is our screen. After entering the company code, we need to enter, we need to rather select an asset. We need to create a new asset and uh, okay after creating the uh, selecting the new asset then we need to put the description and an asset class is 2000 which is machinery and equipment and then the cost center need to be inputted input then we need to go to transaction data uh, which is the basic data at the bottom and uh, where we need to enter the document date and posting date we need to be from uh, where the acquisition should start or the, i mean we need to uh, the asset is in place and in working condition asset has been acquired so the first of uh, the current uh, first of the, the year Last year will be entered here and uh, similarly the same for posting date. Okay, so the, then we need to input the asset value date. It needs to be same as well. Amount uh, posted will be 50,000 euros and then That's it. We need to post uh, this asset acquisition. So the message has shown that uh, the posting has been done, acquisition has been done, and uh, in three areas it is posted uh, IFRS. the standard and uh, we need to copy the asset number asset number record uh, number note has been taken and uh, we continue to go to more then environment and then asset values To check the values in the report about the acquisition just we have posted 
and we can scroll to check the value for area so one in asset number and uh, here it is here is our corresponding asset which we just created with uh, the value of 50,000 euros and uh, and it has also posted a depreciation depreciation has been also posted so this is all about select the asset number at the top uh, okay once it is selected we need to go to the valuation and there are uh, you can see here three areas, three major areas are shown here. Ah, yeah, FRS, which is standard, is also shown. International financial reporting standards, and uh, this is an organization or foundation uh, which endorses all or validates the standards that is with financial reporting. So, so the values are shown here in IFRS. Then we need to in the journal entries here is our acquisition and date and the asset value date and fifty thousand euro is our acquisition value it's shown here very clearly. Then in the journal entries we need to display the journal entry here. Here is our journal entry which we have passed. The entry view is shown here. And in the more we can go uh, for asset accounting. And these are various views of accounting for our acquisition. Uh, so international financial reporting standard IFRS principle is shown here and uh, The GL account numbers are shown. This is our debit entry. The other one is clearing asset acquisition is our credit entry. So it is very clear the contra account is also shown. That's it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.